Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at wintergreen or tea berry uh, plant. Uh, right here, just on the stump, uh, there's a few tea berry plants. I don't see any tea berry, but I'll uh, get to that in a minute. Um, how you identify this plant is first, here's a couple of close up photos of what we're looking at. You want to look at the uh, leaf and the stalk of uh, this ground cover uh, plant and if you're lucky to find you can grow this at home and have more uh, results of getting more fruit but the uh, fruit is uh, here's a photo of the uh, fruit the fruit is red and if you look at the bottom of it it will have a star from where the flower was this plant takes a couple years to mature um, what I have uh, noticed and experience, but where I'm at as of right now you can't see because of the snow it just fell down just last night um, but there is tens of thousands of plants just throughout this whole open area right here huge amount so uh, you won't deplete uh, what's right here um, if you are sustainable but with this plant is uh, really good to, what I like is just collect the fruit. But you can collect the leaves. But if you eat too many of the leaves, it has upsetting uh, stomach properties. So if you have, let's say, you eat like a pound of these leaves, you're gonna have an upset stomach. Um, but I don't know why would you eat a pound of wintergreen leaves. Um, you can use these leaves just like tea leaves. Um, you can like fry them up, cook them, make oil out of them. Uh, just the same way, uh, like you can make tea. The tea is fantastic. Uh, you can eat them as is. Um, and yeah, great plant to uh, have. And like and subscribe. Visit me at LarkinsWildEdibles.com. See you there.